Welcome to webdevelopmentschool.com. Today we're going to work with user input. It's a quite thrilling topic uh, to discuss and we need two things before we can continue. Number one is, well, necessary for all videos, but you'll need a web server. Uh, and one of the previous videos uh, is discussed how you can install uh, Apache on your machine. And the second thing you need is some knowledge about HTML. If you're uh, not familiar with the form tag, uh, please check out one of the videos in the HTML section on my channel to um, learn how to uh, create a form tag. So let's start. We're going to open our editor and we're going to open a browser. We're going to browse to localhost. We're going to click that index.php file and we're going to open the local disk web server Apache 2 htdocs index.php and the first thing we're going to do is create a little form in HTML so we got a little form in HTML. We got an HTML tag with all the tags inside it. We got a head tag with a title and in the body we got one heading, welcome. Well, that's working nice. Now we're going to create a form. And to create a form, we of course need the form tag. And inside that form, we're going to, well, cr actually create the form. So let's say, what is your name? And we need a input element and the type needs to be text because we want to type some text inside it. When we view this in the browser we can see what is your name and we can type something here. Well, that's just great. We also need um, a submit button so we're going to create a input element that is type submit and a value okay send it going to be the label for the button so we got our button okay send it and we got an input element well what do we need to do to actually whenever I I fill in my name like Tuan and we want to do something with it the things you need to do to begin is change the form tag and add two attributes method an action and the method attributes uh, will be discussed in a moment and the action attributes is uh, the PHP file or well, for this example PHP file where the uh, uh, filled in data is sent to so we're gonna just think of a name you can uh, think of your own name and we're going to call it process my form.php and of course, we need to create this file. And we're going to save it. Make sure you save it in the same folder as the index.php file. So that's going to be web server, Apache 2, htdocs, and next to the index.php file, we're going to save the process my form.php or whatever you called it. I'm going to remove this. The method attribute uh, can contain a couple of methods. And it can contain a get method, which is uh, by default. So if you leave the method out, it will. Uh, if we won't, if we don't write this, it'll uh, by default be be get. And you can use post. And in this example, we're going to use the get method. Well, what happens here is that when we refresh this page and we fill in a name. And we click send you can see that the web server was trying to read process my form.php it tried to send the data to that particular file why because we told him to do that we told him okay process my form.php that's the file you need to send the data to but we don't see any data and we're gonna change that in a moment. Remember the introduction about variables? 
Well, we need to define a variable name for this value. We need to identify this value because whenever we got several questions in our form and we fill different values in and we need to have, for example, this value three, we need to give it a variable name so we can identify which is which. And we do that with the name attribute. And that's our attribute of the input type. So we're going to name and I'm going to give it, you can um, think of any name. I'm going to call it filled in name. Why I call it filled in name? Because name uh, can be quite uh, confusing because name, 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 name. That's uh, a little bit confusing. So um, I'm going to call it filled in name. Now, when I refresh this page and I type my name and we click OK, send, what will happen is HTML or the web server will send the value Tuan in the variable filled in name to processmyform.php. And let's have a look at how that looks. We can see in the URL that the processmyform.php is called with a question mark and then filled in name is Tuan. And let's chunk this up. Localhost is the server name. Process myform.php is the file it's supposed to load. And the question mark can announce some variables. So you can pass variables in the URL. Perhaps have a look at uh, some website uh, you visit. Try to visit a website. You'll definitely see some variables in the URL. Well, in this case, we got one variable. Filled in name is the variable name and the value is Tuan. In processmyform.php, if we type some PHP code here and we say echo hello and we refresh this page, you'll see hello. So whenever I fill something in here and I click send, it'll reach the processmyform.php file and it'll run it, so we, uh, that's why we see hello. And now I'm going to show you how to get that value we just filled in. So when I fill in Tuan here, and I click OK, send it, I'm just about to show you how we can get that Tuan value. And that's done with a special variable, a magic variable, that's called the get variable. And let me just type in, um, Let me chunk this up. My name is a variable. We can see that by the dollar sign. And we're going to assign a value to it. And we're going to assign it with another variable. We can see that by the dollar sign. But this is a special value uh, variable. It's the get variable. It's a magic variable which contains all the variables and values in the URL. And we can get one particular particular uh, uh, variable by um, using this syntax and this name needs to be exactly the same as this name we've got here which corresponds with fill the name that's the variable name we just gave so the value Tuan is in this variable and is put into my name so when we echo this, my name, we will see Tuan right here in the browser. Tuan. So now we got a situation where whenever we type something or something and we click send, we see it. Well, that's that's nice and we can do lots of funny stuff with it perhaps we can combine the if statement we just 
processed in our previous video in this, we can say, all right, this is not uh, a name, but maybe we can say, what's the password? And we give it a name password, and we check out processmyform.php. We replace this with password, the password, and we're going to use an if statement, like if the password equals secret, echo, yep, that is good else echo invalid password. When we go to the index.php file, we're going to go step by step through the script. We got a HTML form here. We created a form tag. This form tag had a method get, which is um, referring to the get variable. It's a magic variable, and uh, don't um, don't be afraid that if you don't fully get it, um, you're going to be in lots of problems or something. No, no. This is just a simple play and touch, and we're going to discuss it in detail later. So, um, the action attribute, which is the page where the data is sent to, is processmyform.php. We created an input type as text. We gave it a name, and the variable name is password. We can see that here and a submit button. So whenever we click submit, this form will send this variable with the value I typed in, in this case for these, to action process my form .php. And when we open this, first we get the value we just typed in. And in this case, password or call it x666, couple of X's. It always works, but you've got to have these the same. So the name must correspond with this between those quotes. But we'll call it password again because now I can see it's a password. I can read when I read it I, I think oh right that's a password. And we store this value inside this variable, the password. Then we say all right if some sort of condition is true, we're going to execute this code, otherwise we're going to execute this code. And what's that condition? The password, which is what we typed in, equals secret. Then we're going to execute this code, echo, so send to the browser this. Otherwise, it's going to execute the code between this and this curly brace and it's going to echo invalid password so when we refresh this what's the password well i don't know okay send it it says invalid password and when we type in secret and we click okay send it it says yep that's good so we combined a form tag with some user input with uh, an if statement so that's uh, fun uh, to see uh, for once. Of course, this is not uh, how uh, normally a, a password or a login uh, uh, screen uh, will work because the, the password, when it, whatever I uh, fill in our secret, is just here in the URL. So this is not a, a normal way to, um, uh, to secure something, but it's just uh, to play around with variables a little bit and uh, see what's happening. So I want to leave it to this. Uh, we've created a little form, we posted it, and we created an if statement with it. So we got some sort of little small application. Um, don't worry if you do not understand this piece or um, this piece or the method is get piece. It was just to show you a little bit of the way we are going. And we're going to dive into that in detail in, uh, in just uh, a couple of videos. I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video about working with user input. Thanks for watching and please check out the next video.